Welcome back. Can you believe that Philippine finally received permission to become a missionary to the New World? I'm not sure I could wait 48 years to realize my dreams. What about you? No, don't think I could. We thought it would be fun to venture up into the attic of the 1840 building at the Academy of the Sacred Heart and pick out one of the old trunks that the religious of the Sacred Heart used to pack their belongings. Lesson 2 is all about Philippine packing for her voyage to the New World. Today we're going to focus on Philippine's preparation, her packing, raising the funds for the journey, and bidding farewell to family, friends, and her homeland. What would you pack for a trip if you knew you would never be coming back home? How much money would you have to raise on a GoFundMe page for the whole trip? Philippine was so excited and filled with joy at finally being able to travel to the new world, but I bet she had some worries and fears too. Can you imagine moving to a new country, not knowing the language, as well as having to say goodbye to your family, your friends, and everything that you knew. Enjoy lesson two and get ready to join Philippine on her journey across the Atlantic. But don't forget your passport. <laughs>